Real-time insights are more important than ever. Imagine turning Microsoft Forms responses into a live report that updates instantly, giving you immediate access to critical information. In this video, I will show you how to create this solution using Microsoft Fabric Real-Time Intelligence to capture Microsoft Form responses and store data into a KQL database for live analysis. So let's create this solution together. Okay, let's review the overall structure of this solution. Imagine we have a Microsoft Form and then when we submit that form, all the responses need to be saved in a KQL database. And then we can analyze that using Power BI uh, report with the direct access to that KQL database. We need to create a Microsoft Power Automate flow with uh, to capture those data when they submit any any user submit that form, capture the data, change the form of that to a JSON format, and then send the event. Any response that will be an event will be an event, and then we will send it to an event stream. We will create a custom source for that event stream to capture the data and receive the data from Power Automate. Then we will save it to a KQL database, and then we will analyze that in Power BI report. So we will use Power Automate and Microsoft Fabric. So first, uh, let me show you uh, the form. I created this my, this Microsoft form here with three questions. First is which country would you like to visit? The next question is have you visited this country before? Yes or no? And then on a scale of one to five, how much do you like this country? So we I will share, imagine I share that with the users and then they can go there and type their country name, visited that or not and answer those three questions. So I need to create a Microsoft uh, Microsoft Power Automate flow to capture the data when they submit the form. So here, if I go to the Microsoft Power Automate, the first one here, Automate, uh, click on this uh, Create, then Automated uh, Cloud Flow, and here the first item is when a new response is submitted. So that's the item then trigger for this flow. So I will select that one, add a name for that, demo form to RTI and then click on create. So I would, for now I just turn off the new designer here. You can find all the forms name, you, all the forms you created in Microsoft form, you can still find the name of them here. So the name of this form I created for this demo is the test real time in fabric real time intelligence for visualizing live submitted data. So it's here, I can select that one, and that's it. The trigger is uh, totally configured, and then we can add the new step there. The new step is to collect the responses. So we can search for here, and then select the Microsoft Forms, and there is only one action, and that's the action we, we need to add as the, uh, as the first action in this flow. Here, the form ID, again, uh, we need to select that form, the name of that, and then response ID will be the output of the previous uh, previous uh, item, which is the trigger. So then when a new response is submitted, when a new response is submitted is the trigger name and the output of that is the response ID. So we can use that here. So that's it. So save it for now. And now we can collect the data when the user submit that form, we can collect the data automatically. We don't need to do anything. Anytime they submit the form, the data will go, this will be activated and then they can collect the data here. So uh, after that, what we need to do, we need to stream the data, send the data to a Microsoft Fabric, uh, Microsoft Fabric uh, event stream. So I created that event stream here. So let me uh, close this one. For a sec, yeah. So I created uh, this event stream before because in the previous uh, video, which you can find it in my channel, I explained that how to use Microsoft Power Automate as a custom source for an event stream. So I won't go through the details here. Just pause this video, watch that uh, short video, and I explain that every detail uh, in that video, step by step. You can find out how you can create a custom. 
uh, source for your event stream and using Power Automate to send the data there. So I created this event stream and set the custom uh, source for that one here. And then let me go to the uh, form here. And then I uh, send using this send event to send the data to the event stream. I explained everything in the previous video. Just highly recommend pause this video if you haven't watched that. Watch that first and then back to this video. So here what I did, uh, uh, when we want to send the event to the event stream, we need to make sure the format of that is a proper JSON format. So I collect the four uh, responses here. Then I compose those data. I created this uh, JSON. JSON with the object and then some names here, which those names are the, the are the output of that Microsoft form. I want to know who submitted that, when that submitted. The first question was about the country, so I named that as a country, which these names are important because this country, for example, here will be the column name at the end for your table. And then visit it before, yes or no, and rate the country. If you wanted to find this one, uh, you could uh, this uh, JSON uh, and for this compose, I added that into my blog post. So the link is in the description. You can go there and copy paste it. But you need to write uh, this JSON format based on your Microsoft form. If your form has ten questions, you need to add ten items here and then map it to the answer, the get response details, this action, the output of that. For example, here, the country, which country is coming from here, which country here. So let me show you here, which country is coming from here. I map, map these items to the output of the get responses. Then the JSON is ready. I set up my send event action to be able to send the event to that event stream. The output of this compose is the content I want to send to this event stream. So again, I explained all of these details, how you can set up the send event in my previous uh, video. So now my uh, event stream is ready because whenever I submit, a, submit anything here, let me submit one here. For example, I want to say Australia. Yeah, I've been there, five, and submit that one. And then if I back to this form and then refresh it, you can see that three seconds ago, that is completed. The data here, as you can see, I submit that one, and then I says Australia, yes, and five, and that data stream to the, the, the to the um, even the stream successfully. So here, if I come back here and then refresh the data, that answer should be appear here. Might take a few seconds. So here, right here, Australia, yes, five. So that's fine. The rest, these three, are just for the event stream. So they just added those three uh, data to those three columns for having the information for when that event is processed and so what partition they use. We don't want to go through the details there. So now we have this uh, source. We create the Power Automate flow to capture the data, send it to the event stream. We need to save it to a KQL database. I created the event house before here. So I created the, this event house. If you create the event house, uh, then uh, let me back to one workspace and create a new item. Here you can see the event house. When you create, uh, create the event house, there is a KQL database by default there. So you can use that, that KQL database or you can add another KQL database to your event house and use it here. So here what I did before I send the data to my database, uh, to my KQL database, I managed, I used the manage fields here. So let me go to the edits uh, area. So here, for example, here I added this one and manage fields before streaming data to KQL. And what I did, I added all the fields, all fields I need for this solution, but I changed the type of the data. Change data here, submitted the date and time, and the rate of string or text. But I, uh, I changed it here. As you can see, I said the submitted time, rather original time is a string. So uh, I said change it, set it to change it to date and time, and then rate country 
here I, is a string, the original type, but I change it to integer 64, which is the number. Then I add the, uh, so the I add the destination here, KQL database, add a name for that one, which workspace, event house, which is that event house I created before, the KQL database, which is the same name as event house. You can first time, if you, there is no table in your KQL database, you can click on create new and create a new uh, table for your data, KQL database, which is fine, but make sure before click on the create, create new database and save it, make sure at least there is one data here because KQL database needs the schema of your data, need the, for the structure of your data to create that table, to know how many columns that uh, that table needs, how many uh, and what type of data you want to save in each of those columns. So make sure one time submit a form when the uh, when the source is ready in the event stream there are some there is even one uh one result here that would be great would be okay would be enough for this uh, solution and then save it when you save that one then if i back to my kql database there is a form here i submitted many before but today this one is submitted 22nd of november australia yes and that's five then I can analyze that with Power BI. Just here in your event stream, in your event, uh, uh, in your event house, okay, when you select your KQL database and select that table, if you uh, click on these three dots and select the Power BI, you can create a report easily. And that report will be connected to your KQL database with their query. So you don't need to refresh it. You just need to refresh your uh visuals which you can use this extension which i created before power uh power automate um, uh, power bi visual auto refresh you can find it for google chrome uh, edge and firefox and that will do the do the function for you that will refresh only the visuals for you so i created the report before to save some time here so if i back to the report then you can find that the answer i Submitted there. It's here. Let's try and answer something else uh, with some another name of country here. Submit another response. Let's say, for example, uh, uh, France. Yes, I've been there. I'm just for. I love France, but just for this test. Submit that one, and then back to the repo. I don't need to refresh the, the stream uh, semantic model or data set. I just need to refresh the visual. And if I refresh the visual then the France added here and that works easily. So what I can, what else can do, if I can set it to be refreshed every two seconds, then I don't need to hit this one because this will be refreshed every two seconds. And if I add, submit another response here, for example, let's go somewhere around, for example, here, Greek. So uh, yes, and that's five, submit it. And then back here, every time it will be refreshed, and this time refresh that one, that will be added here. So that will be fully a uh, live report, and you can analyze all of your data using Power Automate, Microsoft Fabric real-time intelligence, and uh, uh, some uh, some K KQL database, and even you, you can write any KQL query set. If you find this uh, video useful, please hit that like button and let me know your uh, idea about this video in the comment section. Till next video, bye for now.